There is no greater prophet than John the Baptist. But among those who are in the kingdom, all are greater than he. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ had great praise for his cousin, John the Baptist, for he came without seeking recompense. He lived on locusts and honey in the desert. He wore ragged clothing made from the pelts of animals. The prophecies of John the Baptist have come to fruition in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We take great pride in knowing that we are among the chosen people of this generation. We do not rely on the sayings of our contemporaries, but rather we are steeped in the words of the gospel. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to each of us when we received him as our Lord and Savior. We celebrate Christmas each year as the commemoration of his being born of humble birth, and coming into the world. So as we chronicle the development of our Lord Jesus' life throughout the rest of the liturgical year, let us take comfort in knowing that we are relying on the words about Jesus Christ, our Savior, and not those of some able or unable historian. This is our lot. We rejoice in knowing that God has sent us our Savior. God love you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now join together now and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and on the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine help us to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. I will wash my hands among the innocent and accomplish your altar, O Lord. 
I've loved, O Lord, the beauty of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Take not away my sins <clears throat> with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities, and filled with gifts. But as for me, I have walked in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. In the churches I will bless you, O Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my guilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his church. Lord God, may the gift we offer you in faith and love be a continual sacrifice in your honor and truly become our Holy Eucharist and our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well and always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. When he humbled himself to come among us as a man, he fulfilled the plan you formed long ago and opened for us the way to salvation. Now we watch for the day, hoping that the salvation promised us will be ours when Christ, our Lord, will once again come in glory. And so with all the angels and saints, let us proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Father, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age you gather a people to yourself, and from east to west a perfect offering may be made in the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Holy Spirit, that they may become one body and blood of your, Lord, of our, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread into his sacred hands. And looking up to you as Heavenly Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with this Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you 
and enable us to share in the inheritance of your saints, with Mary, Virgin Mother of God, and the Apostles and Martyrs and all the saints, on the, whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church here on earth, your religious leaders and patriarchs, Berndt, our patriarch in Utrecht, Francis Bishop of Rome, for me, your humble servant, and all the clergy, and the entire people <clears throat> your Son has gained for you. Father, hear the prayers of the family who have gathered here before you, in mercy and love, unite all your children wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, from whom you give us all good things. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us join together now and pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and shelter from all needless anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of our church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with us always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, in the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodiat anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodiat anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen.
Say to the anxious, be strong and fear not, our God will come to save us. Let us pray. God of mercy, may this Holy Eucharist bring us your divine help. Free us from our sins and prepare us for the birthday of our Savior, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. You believe that the Son of God once came to us, and you look for him to come again. 
May his coming bring you the light of his kindness and his blessing bring you freedom. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration is ended for today. Let us go forth to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. I'll closing him today. Lo, how a rose air blooming. Lo, how a rose air blooming from tender stem hath sprung of Jesse's lineage coming as men of old have sung. It came a floweret bright Amid the cold of winter, when half spent was the night. Isaiah twas foretold it, the rose I have in mind. With Mary we behold it, the virgin mother kind. To show God's love aright, she bore to men a Savior, when half spent was the night. God love you all, and thank you for being with us today.